Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet robe. Let's just get right into it today. I'm not going to be feisty today because I am here with Miss Sarah Frazier. Hi, David. Well, I hope you'll be feisty. I want you to be feisty. I mean, give us the feist. Yes. I was, I was so riled up on our last episode. Jesus Christ. Do you ever get <laughs> sick of hearing yourself talk? I, I mean, there are days where I'm just like, I'm over myself. Oh, I know. I know. Me too. I know. Yes. Yes. And over it, like, I'm just like, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I, you know, because I do nonstop TLC podcast. I'm like, sometimes I'm sitting there going, why are you watching Sister Wives? I get like, why are you? <laughs> what are you like? How are you trying to break down and analyze this? Like, uh, anyway. Speaking of which, I got some not to encroach on your territory, because I don't know if you would have these people on, but I got possibly something coming up from TLC. We've been contacted. Oh, by- I know exactly who you are. The Colpo <laughs> sisters. I want the Colpo <laughs> sisters on too. Okay, that one we're gonna have to do dual interviews. Yes, I've already reached out to. I'm like, I have to have them on. And and I've got to watch. I actually haven't watched the show, which I really need to because it's kind of their first go in a long time with actual kind of celebrity people. Normally they don't, so it's very interesting. Listen, you know what I say? I say that I don't watch unless you're coming on my show. So let's just say that I've watched the first two episodes. And here's the thing about coming on my show. I never, three years later, I don't believe it until I'm looking at you in the Zoom. Like things, whatever can go wrong. Know, so many Managers things and networks, right. So we might be having some TLC shit going on over here. Just, mm-hmm. I didn't reach out to them. Not encroaching on your territory. Someone- I don't mind that to me. Um, before yeah. we get into Miss Shaw in this public breakdown, um, I need to address this diet because I, you know, how when you and I gave a shout out of like, are there any 20 somethings that listen to us? And then I told you I've never received so many DMs in my life. And man, we need to try because we are of the youth, Sarah. Yes, I, baby. This I've received more DMs. Even people, I literally got like thousands of DMs being like, are you on o- Ozempic or Manjaro? Just come clean, girl. Listen, I'm going to come clean. I mean, I'm not trying to hide anything. I contacted Megan Weaver from Jeff Lewis because she's on the same diet as I am. And she started, I think, a few days after me. No, I'm doing, listen, okay. and, I, and I've already referred to friends because someone was like, I'm one of my, two of my friends actually listen to this podcast, listen to us. They love you, Sarah. So they're just like, okay, girl, we're like friends with you. We can't find the right doctor for this can you refer so look i i mean i get nothing from this i will refer people if they slip into my dms and they want a look i'm not a doctor so i'm working i'm on the manjaro diet which is the controversial it's somewhat controversial because you're injecting yourself with medicine that was traditionally used for people that have diabetes yes oh my god i mean david i you know, like I said, I love you. I don't think you need to be on a diet. Uh, you're more than the number on a scale. However, if you, you know, it's your life, you should do whatever you want. I mean, your face looks thinner. I will say, Listen um, to me. but I don't know, is this safe? And I guess, and you're, you're injecting diabetes medication. And the last time we talked, the side effects were kind of rough. Like, how are you feeling now? Well, listen, so again, I mean, there's a lot you've just said there. Um, it's like what we were saying last time, like when we were like, look, look, I mean, is it safe? Look, I've done my research. I'm working with someone really, but, but first of all, you, you can't just get this. You can't like go into some back alley. I mean, this is a real prescription with a real person who writes a prescription. So have I lost like 14 pounds in like two and a half? I've lost 14 pounds already. How much weight do you want to lose? let's not get into, I mean, like, cause no, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm not putting that question off. It's kind of like, look, so this is where I will, I will get on. And so I saw Megan from Jeff Lewis, Megan Weaver, who was on my show was yeah. literally talking about Manjaro. So I DM'd her like, Hey girl, guess what? Could we be like Manjaro sisters? Like, you know, it helps like to go through this. So when she got right back to me, we've been DMing, like she's been really open about her journey. Look, I mean, and by the way, there's like seven other housewives bravo people on this that's not my <laughs> it's not my position to out anyone but uh, look, you inject yourself once a week and are what are look i'm not a doctor so everyone's going to need to speak to this doctor if you want me to refer you you can't just get it no the side effects girl they're not friendly they're not fun 
Um, you're the worst to me. There's nausea, there's headaches, and there's exhaustion. I am exhausted 24 hours, despite the fact that I seem like I'm not because I'm drinking a lot of coffee. It's like I have narcolepsy and I could literally close my eyes and fall to the ground and sleep for weeks. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. I'm looking at Megan's, um, She's been hosting. So it's like you inject yourself and look, it's, I have asked a thousand times if it's safe, am I going to give myself diabetes? Like, look, I think we don't know the way it works is for my, it's like a semi-glutide. I'm not a doctor. My understanding is what it does. And again, you're not getting this unless you have a prescription and you work with a, a health professional. My understanding is it digest the food, which doesn't sound healthy to me, but I'm here. I am. I'm on it. I just gave myself my third shot. I'm doing for my fourth shot any day. You, it digests the food slower. So if you eat a piece of chicken, like oh, say, sure. say you would eat like four pieces of chicken, you eat one piece of chicken and take a breath. You're like, Hey, I'm full. And I'm then full, it's, yeah. it's, and then it stays in your system. So okay. Got this it. is why to me, this works. It's not I mean, it's not like, oh my God, I'm on a diet. I'm dying for a slice of pizza. I'm dying for Chinese. No, I mean, you literally, and I said to them, I, I, I'm a boar. Like, look at the wild boar out in the jungle. That's me. I am ravenous. I eat 20. I said, this won't work on me. I'm going to try it. I said, they laughed. It works on it. It won't work on me. I, I, food is like everything. No, it, you have no hunger, none. So that's, it's not like, I'm, it's not like a miracle. It's not like, oh, I'm so good. I'm so, no, a normal diet you go on, you're like, I'm eating 400 calories. I'm starving. I'm dying for a slice of pizza. I don't want lettuce. This is like, you can eat anything you want, girl, go and eat three pizzas. You take like five bites of a slice of pizza and you're like, I'm going to be sick. I'm so exhausted and stuff. Yep. I have no, so I, I'm, you have no real, so there's a slight, there's a slight element at sometimes of depression because food is such a glorious, beautiful thing, right? Yes. So you don't, ha I haven't had a slice of pizza since I started this in like almost it's like three weeks. Not, it's like you, you, like, yes, I'm craving pizza, but I'm not really. And that's where like the nausea comes in. Like your stomach just doesn't want to eat. David, this all sounds, the, 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 I, here's my thing with the diets always, right? It's like, what is your plan when you go off the diet? Listen, Sarah, here's the thing. Now, first of all, I'm in my, I'm my third, I mean, I'm going to take my, and I'm actually increasing my dose. There's different dosages. After my fourth needle, I'm increasing my dosage, which means the side effects are going to get worse, but I've nothing. I have tried every and thank you 